Hare Mahavi D here. I'm doing well. I hope you are doing well. I really do. Um, I have not even uh, read the comments on the last uh, two videos uh, because I know I know that um, I disappointed you. At least I, I think I did. I disappointed myself with those because I was I was bent on revenge, man. Uh, hence, and, and, and so I, I all I wanted to do was one thing, man. I wanted I wanted revenge for what they did, you know, uh, killing my horse, man, my, my prized possession. And I wanted revenge, and that was the only thing on my mind. And and it, so when I made those that that video, uh, you know, um, it was just I I really thought that I'd be able to do it in like you know uh, 15 20 minutes, you know, find those those dirty dogs that did that with a Gatling gun and blow them up, man. And then that would be the video, It'd be like a like a 15 20 minute video, you know. But it took hours. I spent hours doing that, and then ended up having to cut. Cut, cut, cut a lot of stuff out, and I, and that's against the format of the series. You know, I never cut anything. You know, we, it's like a stream. the The format of the series is a stream, really. That, um, with the exception that you can't interact live um, with what I'm doing, but that's what it is. Basically, I'm streaming, but not that one. I, I did cut, hence the title, the reference in the title to a thousand cuts, and I know that's you know. A departure from the format of the series and I disappointed myself with that and so I know I disappointed you that and that's worse that's worse than disappointing myself it wasn't intentional man I really thought I'd be able to find those guys and uh, get my revenge and that's all I was thinking about and that's why I, I didn't do any commenting uh, during all of it because I really didn't think I was going to use any of that footage you know I was just just go through and uh, you know, I didn't do any commenting on um, the two encounters with the twins, and there was plenty of things I could have said if my head would have been right, but my head wasn't right, man. And, you know, I was just, just full of revenge. That's all I wanted. Well, that's gone now. I got that flushed out of my brain, you know, and uh, and I've got my head on right, so we'll get back to the, uh, uh, the format of the series, which is basically a stream. Um... I also, man, I embarrassed myself by, by telling a story about sneaking into Vaughn's, um, you know, and nobody knows, I've never told anybody that, no, no, none of my family members know anything about that, and here I go putting it on the internet, you know, and then that got me thinking about the, that got me thinking about this, I'm going to tell this, um, um, the apple doesn't fall far from the trees, I have four sons, and during these, the time that I'm going to tell you about, I was I was a single parent with them. The oldest one was 14, the youngest one was eight or nine years old. And I get a call at work, uh, and this is Sergeant So and So with the Longmont Police Department, Longmont, Colorado. But I was running a very very busy restaurant um, <laughs> in Fort Collins, which is a good 25 mile drive. And it's Friday night. the The restaurant is packed. You know, we've been on a wait. You know, some people, you know, it's like an hour wait to get in. Uh, the line out onto the sidewalk, busy as all get out. And uh, this is Sergeant So and So with the Longmont Police Department. We need you here now. And what, 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 what happened? Your four sons have been arrested for assault with a deadly weapon. So I'll just cut to the chase. So, you know, I leave, you know, I put the assistant manager in charge. I said, man, I got to go. I got to go. And I, poof, I flew down the, oh, gosh, what is that highway that, that goes from uh, Fort Collins to Longmont? I, ca I can't even remember. It's 25, whatever, highway 25. Normally a 25-minute ride, man. I'm, I think I made it in 15 minutes, man. I was doing 100 miles an hour. I get to the police station. Uh, and what they had done was... Um, I would leave the oldest in charge, 14-year-old, you know, thinking they're good boys, they'll be fine, you know. And like I said, you know, there's no adult supervision. I'm at work. Anyway, they 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 went to the football field. And there is a storage shed on the football field that has all the equipment in it for the various sports. Mm, it's near the football field. And it has two doors on it that, that swing open, you know, like this, you know, like a, like a gate. And they had a chain between the two doors to hold it shut and it had a padlock on it. But the chain was loose enough that you could open the doors just enough so that the youngest one, the smallest one, could squeeze in. 
and he squeezed in and he took out I mean, of all the things you could take out, there's footballs, there's soccer balls, there's tennis racket, all of the, you know, all the stuff for the sports classes. He takes out the bow and some arrows, you know, target arrows. Um, they um, they use for archery class, and they were shooting the arrows on the football field, and there were joggers running around the track on the football field, and some woman uh, called the police and said that there were boys on the football field shooting arrows at her. Yes, so the police come and they arrest them, uh, and um, and they're they're at the police station. It's Friday night, man, and I'm there. And they explain all this to me, and he, and he says, you know, sir, this is very, very serious because this is a felony, and this will stay on their record for life. And I said, well, they're just boys, you know. So anyway, we worked it out to where the police uh, said, look, here's what we're going to do with them. Uh, they have to write a 500-word essay on what they did, on why what they did was wrong, and then and they did that. The boys wrote the 500-word essay all four of them, and, and the police accepted that and uh, dropped the charges so they wouldn't have a felony assault with a deadly weapon on their records. Can you imagine being nine years old and having that on your record? <laughs> and that's not the only one. Um, I get a call. This is another one. I get a call from the police. They've got the boys arrested, and uh, they were skateboarding or a rollerblading and or on the roof of a church. So same thing, I, I get over there and go, well, what the heck? Now you gotta imagine, now, now if this is the size of a normal building, the width of a normal building, the, the church was just a big rectangle um, building, right? The church was, was really, really wide, get my hands in there, it was really wide and it had an A-frame roof. So instead of the A-frame roof being steep, you know, and coming down like this, on a, like on a house, an A-frame roof, it was like this. It was a more gentle slope because the building was so wide, and the bottom part of the of the of the A-frame roof that would come down uh, came to, I can't even do that, came down so close that you know the bottom edge here was so close to the ground that you could get on the roof very very easily. And the boys did that, and they were skateboarding or or rollerblading. I can't remember which. Maybe both. I think some of them were skateboarding and some of them were rollerblading. They're just four boys, same age. 14, the oldest, youngest is about eight or nine. And of course, somebody saw this and called the police. And I couldn't get mad at them for this. I, and, and the police dropped it. Uh, you know, just gave them a lecture. I, 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 I couldn't get mad at them because I, I was impressed. I was impressed. Like, you guys were skateboarding on the on that roof on on the roof of a church. That I was. I was boy, I, I spawned. Uh, I spawned four athletes, man. That's pretty. <laughs> like I said, apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Speaking of that, enough of that. Let's get back on track with the format. And then I'll, 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 I'll get my big head out of here. I will read and respond to the comments uh, on on the last two videos um, later. I, I, I just don't want to do it now because I know that I probably disappointed uh, y'all, and um, I disappointed myself, and I don't want any negativity in my brain, you know, I gotta, I gotta guard my brain against uh, negative vibes, and, and I deserve them, I deserve the negative vibes, I do, I just don't want to read them <laughs> right now, I will, I will, after this video, and we're back on track with uh, basically, I'm not going to cut anything. I, I, I normally don't I do that. I don't cut. It's just straight through and what happens, happens. Um, and I've got revenge out of my mind. I know that we will have an encounter eventually uh, with those dirty dogs that, that murdered my horse, my prized possession. Um, and I'm not going to, oh, going to force it. Now, here's the thing. I don't remember. I'm going to pause right now. And because um, uh, I don't remember where I left it, man. My head was so full of revenge. All I was thinking about was revenge. I honestly do not know where I left him or what we're up to. Well, let's look at the map. That'll help uh, refresh my brain. Um, what do we got going on? I'm in Valentine. You know why I'm in Valentine is because I like him to sleep in a hotel and eat when he's out and about. And um, what do we have here? Sadie. Sadie and Camp, 
and uh, we have um, oh yeah 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 Dutch took off and we have this uh, strangers and we have a Trelawney here okay 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 I'm gonna um, take a minute here uh, smoke them if you got them and uh, come up with a game plan I'll be right back at you all I'll be right back at you and thank you all for um, putting up with uh, me um, departing from the format of the series and um, I, I have I, I can't even watch them I can't even look I don't even know how many views they have because I just feel so bad about those anywho um, I'm gonna take a quick break y'all do the same I'll be right back at you all right I got my eyes on and uh, I got a plan I figure okay so here's what we're gonna do um, I wrote it down so I'm reading it I'm reading it here so um, I'm gonna get into San Denis and find a, um, a hotel and restaurant where where Arthur can get a you know a proper meal, a full meal and a, and a place to take a bath and to, and to bed down for the night. The only place I, I always go to is uh, Valentine or, or uh, um, you know or Rhodes or, or Strawberry. I haven't found a place in San San Denis, so I want to do that. Uh, but that's not a priority. Um, there's a poster at the police station. I want to hit that up first. We haven't done any of those in a while. So I want to hit that up, see what that poster is all about. Um, and then um, we'll, we'll see what Trelawney's up to. And then and that yellow uh, question mark that uh, Dutch wants us to check out. And then depending on how long all that takes, um, Sadie, we'll do Sadie's mission. So that is my plan. Did you hear me, computer? I know the, I know, I know, I know the game heard all of that, and so it's going to make its plan. Yeah, I got these uh, these chaps on him in the last episode. Uh, I, I'm not, still deciding whether I like them. I like them. I like them. They're they're fine. They're fine. Um, let's start him off though with um, where are we? we're in Valentine. He can eat in the saloon here. Let's start him off with a good meal. Is this the saloon? Oatmeal, pork and beans, pickled eggs. You ain't scaring nobody. Or is this a store? Oh, it's a store. No, and he is a bad businessman, man. I think I covered that in the last episode. He, that dude is a bad businessman. But there is a place over here. Um, I don't know why they put him outside of town. I know I, I put him down in the... Um, yeah. I know I put him down in the uh, hotel. Here we go. Let's get some breakfast. Good to see you, mister. What time is it? It is 646. And my honor is not as high as I would like it to be, but, you know, we'll fix that maybe. Order. Uh, let's have the lamb... Ooh, let's have them both. Can I get something to eat? <laughs> Chow down, buddy. Chow down. That cost me five bucks. No problem. We'll make more. It's only money. What's it to be? I want some beef stew is what I want. One bowl of beef stew. Oh, we got those gloves on him too. From the legendary Ram, I think it was. Hope it stays down. Somebody's had a few. All right. Sure. Let's, uh... I think there's anything else to do in this town, is there? No, we're gonna stick to the plan, man. Stick to the plan, Sam. What? So I think we'll get far enough out of town. I'll set up a camp and fast travel to San Denis. Okay, auto save. Have your way. You know, 
<laughs> just a little pet peeve of mine is uh, all the dang rain. It, it really is. Oh, you know what? We could take the train to San Diego, couldn't we? Um, is it about to depart? Uh, let's do that, man. Let's buy a train ticket. And, um, oops. <laughs> Guess you can't hit your horse when you're at full gallop. Um, and, you know, it's why, you know, when my son bought me this game, you Welcome know, he back. said it's a, a Wild West uh, game, you know, and so, but the thing is, this game does not take place in the West. Um, it does not. Um, Have yourself a nice trip. Now, I, I don't know who, who, who made the game or where they're from, but, you know, maybe they're from Europe, um, European um, developers, code writers, whatever. I don't know. Um, and so everything west uh, uh, of the Atlantic Ocean towards America would be west to them. But if you're an American, this is not the West, folks. <laughs> I want to be in the West. It doesn't rain as much in the West, you know. I mean, that's where all the cowboying was done, you know. If, if it's going to be a, 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 a cowboy game, uh, you don't do it on the, the east uh, coast of America. Or even where we're at, which is like, I guess, simulating... Uh, somewhere around Mississippi, Missouri, uh, you know, um, Florida, uh, the Gulf, the Gulf of Mexico, you know, um, stuff down there where the Mississippi um, goes down there. Uh, that's not west, folks, in case you were wondering. This is the middle of the country and the east, the, the eastern seaboard. Here. And uh, aesthetically, I prefer the West, <laughs> you know. Personally, it's just a personal pet peeve, you know. You know, get me, get me out there, get me out to uh, Texas and west of Texas. You know, New Mexico, Arizona, you know, all of that. That's West. And all the way up the western coast from California to Washington. That's west. And Alaska even. Northwest. This is not west. So what we need to do here is um, a couple of things. Um, I was going to head for this bounty poster what I was going to do. And I guess we could check out the stranger. He's on the way. Um, he's right across the street from the bounty poster. So let's check that out. And, and then I need to find a place for him to bed down and get a full meal. Now the saloon is locked. Six o'clock at night. I don't understand why it's locked. Am I wanted? I don't. I don't have a bounty on me, do I? I shouldn't have a bounty on me, man. Oh, we gotta get get these uh, little side missions, and we won't. Have, that's not on the list, though. That's not on my list. Is there an, any place where he can bed down? Uh, the only thing I can see would be here, and it's locked. So that sucks. It sucks for me. Look at this, though. I mean, I just complained about it, you know, visually. Um, but visually, it's a it's a marvel. Hey, fellas. The game is. I just wish it was happening in the West. Like I thought, my son said it. Would. My son said I'm gonna get you a game. It's a that's perfect for you, you know. And uh, so bad. What was it about? He said, you know, uh, cowboys out west, the wild west. I'm like, okay, man. 
and and this ain't it. But it's the best game I've ever played of this genre, you know. Ain't even worth it. That's how it's gonna be. I like, uh, you know, I'd always played sports games, you know, Madden, uh, NBA 2K. Love those. Okay, let's let's check this out, and then hopefully this isn't gonna turn into something. Well, it doesn't matter what it turns into because it's hey, on my list. Do I know you, Mister? Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Yeah. Unfortunately, so, Mister. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. Well, I did. He I took some papers you. out of his desk. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Smart man, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Good to meet you. We saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. It's my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son. Rain no. fall. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their Cornwall. land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh on done. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, at appointment with the Senator, we should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Wow. Um, uh, what did we pick up? Is this... Um, um, is it going to be on the map? No, this is that the professor wants this guy to test his electric chair. <laughs> hey, buddy, we want to test an electric chair. <laughs> Would you mind being our guinea pig? Well, I didn't see a follow-up show up for that. Um, imagine we'll get it. Uh, wow. Um, Well, let's go get this poster. 
Uh, interesting exchange there between um, Arthur and the chief. Um, I immediately thought of the outlaw jo Josie Wales. There's a scene, and if you watch that movie, um, and they probably have just a clip of it on YouTube because it's um, it's an epic conversation between Clint Eastwood as the outlaw Josie Wales and the Comanche chief. Uh, the dialogue there is well worth a watch, you guys. All right, let's go pick this. Let's see who's on this poster. It feels like some of these fools want us to get caught. Look here, I hope you're going to use that permit I gave you soon. There's a bounty poster on the wall there. Not one you can demonstrate your machine on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, dem <laughs> demonstrate the machine on. Uh, inspect. Lindsay Wolfer, Lemon, the lemonade writer. Those are the guys that killed, that murdered my horse with a Gatling gun. As the leader of the lemonade raiders, he's wanted for raising a militia against the state. This is. Uh, post-Civil War, this actually happened um, in real life. Un-American activities. They, they just didn't want to give up the fight, you know, after uh, Lee surrendered. How you doing? Uh, murder and adultery. The shit. gang was spotted in the that. Mossy Flats region. Capt for capture, dead or alive. Oh, they, they ain't coming back. They ain't coming back alive, son. Lindsay Wolford, done. You going after Lindsay Wolford? I might be. Or I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lamon Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's going to get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's going to get sick of all of us. Don't tell them I said that. The bounty. Why are you making this feather someone else's problem? We, sir, are an urban police force. Uh -huh. And the Raiders are, well, mostly a rural nuisance. My men simply are not suited for this kind of work. I'm getting notifications. Um, I should turn those off. This feller in particular, Wofford, ain't it? Why him? You cut off the head, the body dies. That's the hypothesis, at least. Oh, we shall see yes. if it can be demonstrated with the Lamont yes. Raiders. If the bounties for this whole outfit, oh, you should have made yes. it more. That's all. I'll get after him. If your hand is false, then so be it. Nah. Oh, yeah. They ain't coming back alive. Oh, yes. Where? Oh, perfecto mundo. So I wasted a whole video and a half trying to get these mama hooches. And there they be. All I had to do was stay with the format, but my head was so full of revenge, I have got to turn off my notifications, guys. I'm getting notifications all over the place uh, on the PC. Um... I was so full of revenge that I was bent. I just patrolled all around, around here trying to find those guys and wasted a video and a half doing that. Oh, this is going to be glorious. They're in a fort? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Here comes a judge. And I'm bringing hell with me. Um, is that saloon? I, I mean, I just want to... It's still locked. See, this is why I can't spend the night here. I believe this is where I got to go to spend the night. And have a meal, but it's always locked to me. I mean, what they, they didn't pass the uh, health inspection or something. 
the health department closed them down. Oh, this is gonna be glorious. Will you move? Sorry. Oh, hey. This is gonna be glorious. Now, see, there's the saloon. Oh, now it's open. Is it open now? What time is it? 10.42. How did it go? F oh, it's morning. Oh, that's what it was. I started at 6 something in the morning. Okay. What's going on? What's going on over here? Where is it? Where is it? See what you get when you cross me. Oh, cop arresting somebody. Can I get in the side door? No. I gotta go in the front door. Makes sense. Hello. Uh, buenos dias. Buenos dias. Um, um, is this, is this, okay, oh, well, I'm not there, it's over across the street, what a, what a doofus. How's everything with you? I'm good. They just won't let me in, man. And that activity's going on back, back here in the alley, but Excuse it's a cop. Excuse you. Morning, to you. Good Arresting morning, somebody. Sir. Hey, careful. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 All right, I'm not good with the buttons. I've had better days, that's for sure. And I don't oh, understand why I can't so get in the saloon. I mean, how do you get in? I don't know, ma'am. I just don't know. Is it back here? To the Why would you go in the back door? Well, I'm giving up on this. I mean... I, I cannot find a place to get a meal and bed down in this huge city. And now and now we're in we're boxed in with the horse. Um Scoop. everywhere I go. What's with you? Well, it's a long story. Yeah. What's this question mark? Hold on, we got another question mark over yonder. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This was not part of the plan. We got a question mark over here. Game throwing curveballs at me. Purveyor of the exquisite. One moment, please. This is extremely delicate. Hey. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, oh, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? Look at this. I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven. <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do talk in my language. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. All right. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. I mean, look at the... A log updated. AW Exotics. Okay. Um, inspect document. Five egret. Five reddish egret. Snowy and Lady of the Night Orchards. Fif Fifteen of those. This is my wanted poster. We're coming, Lindsay. We are coming. We are bringing hell with us. Hello. The mayor has been committing so many crimes. Hmm. All right. Hello. Old here, boy. Hey, boy. The beauty of this game. That shot. The acting also beautiful. Beautifully done. I like Saint Denis. I just wish I could find a place to get a meal and sleep. You know, have a bed down here and spend the night because it's close to camp. You know, I keep bedding him down in those other towns that I, I know where he can do that. I just don't know where he can do that here. I hope I have gun oil. I might need to maintain my weapons here. Take a look. It'll take more than that, boy. Let's see if I yeah. can uh, take a break here. Um, how far do we have to go? Got a ways. All right. Smoke them if you got them, boys and girls. Break time. All right. Let's us uh, get loaded properly. Get the right load out. Do you see the? Uh, see what that says? It says dynamite. Dynamite. And down here, we'll go with the repeater. Let's maintain it. Um, yeah, we'll clean it. 
It's not in bad shape, though. Back. And how are we loaded? Express? That works for me. bring them back alive, folks. Now, I've never brought one back dead, so I don't know. I mean, I don't know how that works. I guess, um, hopefully we can pick, pick out this dead body. I don't know. Put it on the horse and bring that to the police. I don't know. Is that what we do? I want the hundred dollar reward. Did that say a hundred dollars? What was the reward? I didn't even pay attention to what the reward was. I just don't care. I really don't. This does more damage. Loaded for bear. And these boys are gonna get the whole nine yards. You know where that saying comes from? The whole nine yards? Did I already tell you? Once before. It's not a reference there, to yards on a football field. Come from World War II. And the, the string of uh, ammo that they used in the machine guns on our bombers and fighters was nine yards long. Oh, that's them bringing her in? Uh, he's just going to tell me to beat it, is my guess. So the whole nine yards in non-combat situations means you're giving them all. You're giving them all of it, all you got. some um, yes we'll take that we'll take that Showdown. I don't imagine he's 
going to be by himself, but he might. Like we're going to find him camping or something and have to chase him and rope him and bring him back. This is why I named him Inferno. Uh, we are fully equipped. Lindsay Wolford. Lindsay Wolford. Where are you, Lindsay? Is that is that that fort that abandoned fort that I I've been here this is that wrecked fort um, I think I've been here. Uh, do I see a hat in that window? Yep. No, it's just a post. Gatlin gun. that Gatlin gun I could be in trouble investigate the fort so it's abandoned he's gonna be in here by himself hiding yeah this yeah I've been here happened to my um I guess he left the sword um if I'm not mistaken this is where we got that sword There, the yellow splotches in the middle. It's gonna be in that tent back there. Lindsay Wofford, I 
got here a warrant for your arrest. Sure. The other thing, if it comes to it, a federal for warrant? No, no, no. That don't mean much in a sovereign territory, Mister. Someone got a big gun. I don't know who this no account bounty hunter. No, I blew myself up. <laughs> I blew myself up. I was doing so good. Do I get to replay? I became wanted? What did I do wrong? Did I do wrong? Well, I killed Lindsay. I, I blew myself up. The arrow hit the thing. He blew myself up. Um, Lindsay Wofford. I got here a warrant for your arrest. Or the other thing, if it comes to it, a federal warrant? No, 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 that don't mean much in a sovereign territory, mister. Someone take a big gun!
Am I supposed to pick him up? That's where we're at? I think that's where we're at. Um, which one is him? Gonna worry about looting. Um, we already got the. Um, that's where we got the sword. on that road up there. going pretty good the first time until I blew myself up with the my home dynamite. But I am feeling better. I'm my revenge if I can just get this body there without uh, any further hiccups. Some of those egrets I can get um, that guy's uh, plumes. He wants their plumes, their feathers. Ah oh, man, why didn't I do this after they killed my horse? I should have. I didn't know. I mean, how was I to know? Okay, come on, man. Don't, 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 don't put a hitch in my get along. Look at this. This can be. I really like Sandania, do. That's um, a hell of a horse you got there. If I could just find a place Jesus. to spend the night and eat, Goodness. I'd be. I'd be. Good I'd now. keep him here. Don't get hit by a trolley. It's, it's going to do something to mess me up, isn't it? I'm going to run somebody over. I'm going to look, look both ways before crossing the street. Calm down, y'all. Y'all just stay cool. You act like you never saw a dead body before. Yeah, watch. I'm going to get run over by a trolley. I thought it was gonna go and it didn't. Yeah, what do you think, woman? Look, mister. Ah, uh, well, old Mrs. Pim's not. 
not doing too well. Yeah, baby. What do I have to do? I have to go all the way around to him? Dude, I'm right behind you with a dead body. Wake up. I believe this body's worth something. Well, now. So much for them boys being the care of the South. <laughs> Drop that raid in the cart out back. Come around for your bounty. Something gonna happen before I do this. Are they gonna? Is this gonna? Is this a trap of some kind? No. Okay. From the city of San Dani to you, sir, with thanks. It was a hundred dollars. <sighs> Very nice. Now, see if I knew where he, I could spend the night, I would. What I would like to do. Where is that saloon? It's still locked. See, the saloon is just freaking locked to me. There's just no place for me to spend the night. And we do have Trelawney. I see. I want to stay in town because I, I think Trelawney was next on my list. Um. Regardless of that. Good stay. evening. That's what they're saying. Well, I wanted to say. See. The mechanics on this game just just need to be worked on. I'm sorry. I, I you know I should have been able to say hello to her. All right, I need a break. Smoke them if you got them. My vengeance has been fulfilled. Kelly Bell, A.K.A. Sugar, has been avenged. I need a break. Smoke them if you got them. All right, I am back, and uh, see that? I'm not doing that. I have some uh, making them shake. I have some uh, minor nerve damage from falling off horses and motorcycles and sports. Um, it's not a it's it's just um, it doesn't happen all the time, but it happened during that fight, and so I had a hard time, uh, harder than usual. There we go. Is it getting steady? Um, with the buttons. Um, that's just um, you know. Out of things to do. The way it is. Just catch a um, wind for a spell. It seems so, it doesn't. It's not like that all the time. It doesn't. I don't have trouble with it all the time. I just don't get this. Why I can't spend the night here because Trelawney's what we want to do next. And he's right there. Let's get And um, let's try again. You won't believe I don't know it. if there's another place to stay. I, I'm assuming the saloon. I mean, that's where we stay in the other towns that, that don't have something that says hotel. I'm surprised a town like this doesn't say hotel somewhere. You know, we should, we should say that there should be somewhere where, where there's just a hotel. Um, a saloon. And I just don't, I, it just won't let me in. Hello. 
road, sirs. Evening. Nice people around here. Evening, Fred. They're blocking that door. Can't get in Are that you one. Yeah, mister. Ten cuidado. Ten cuidado. Um, con permiso. Perdóname. Excuse me, Martin. Ah! Oh, thank you. Watch yourself. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry. Hello, mister. Everybody wants to bump Bonjour. in here. Hello, sir, can I get a room and a meal? You all on your loan? Prime rib. I have a prime rib. That's okay. Nice. All right. I found a place. I mean, I found it before, but it was never open. Who's that sharing a table with me? Good meal, I hope. Emerson's heard that died. Heard it was poison. Okay, let's uh, let's get a bath and a room if we can. Is that going to be on a menu somewhere? Yeah. You arrange the bath and the wash. I'll have the girls make it for you. Just just head on up. Can I get a room, please? Okay, room is all set. Just head upstairs when you're ready. All right, and where's the bath at, did he say? Upstairs. Oh, I remember you. I hope you took my advice. Uh, that all, about that that you all right, we just need to find it. It's flashing, so that means it's upstairs. Hey, folks. You're hey, you're handsome. Too. Nice. Look at that. Nice. I like the stained glass window. There's packs nice. of savages all covered in furs. That's a nice window. Makes me wish I was young again. I take care of those Hello, bastards sir. myself. Hmm. Let's see. Monsieur? Wow. Yeah. We found a new home. Yes. Yes. You need some help in here? Sure do. Sure, why not? Very well. Relax and I'll do my best. I know you will. If it gets cold on you, holler. If you don't mind, I ain't in much of a talking mood. Quite all right with me. Of course, honey. All right, think I'm good. Take care now. He looks like he's aging. He's getting crow's feet around his eyes like me. Okay, bedroom. Here? Um, back here. Beats working in the factory. Tell me about Oh, this is perfect. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, we found a new home. Most definitely. Look at this. Finally. Hola. Hello there. Hola, que tal? How are things with you? Not great, but... Oh, man. Look at this. Can I draw the curtains? I mean, there's people out there. I can't draw the curtains. Look at this. Look at this. Canopy bed. Huh? All right. get five hours of sleep that'll be enough and uh, 
don't know about y'all, but I'm going to take another break. I'll catch you in the morning. All right, I am back. Let's get. Let us get. I'm feeling pretty darn good. Got the revenge. Ne vous excusez pas, surtout. Um, lady. Hey, friend. Why can't we get any more guys in here? Lady. Bien dit. I, I, I need to get by you. Is she gone? She's still there. Excuse me, lady. I'm sorry. Pardon? I'm always afraid I'm going to get I'm sorry, there. Hey, attention! Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> you are a very odd man. Do you know that? Uh, say, I, you, I could say the same about you, ma'am. I heard Madeline's gentleman didn't pay her. You look ready I'll to take, take on the world. Forgive me, ma'am. Let's try not to bump into anybody. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. This is a bump into people town. Officer. Good morning. Yep. So we'll head for Trelawney. One's closer than I thought. Um. Let's tie you up, girl. Boy, I forgot I have a I have a I have a stud or I have a stud. Um, let's tie him up. Good morning, friend. Inferno. There's, there he is. There he is. Trelawney, what you got? What are you going to get us into? Good morning. That's not him. Good morning. Thought that was him. Uh. Where's Bien, bonjour, monsieur. Partner. Outside of the fence, the gate. Morning. There he is. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. I like the way I look. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. What? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still oh. doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. I like what I've got on. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Okay. Let this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his face. Um, the heavy brow. Look at something else. Hidden breathing. Um, Might I suggest the fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. It doesn't look like I have a choice. Um, it doesn't look like I have a choice. It, it won't so, let me turn pages. Let's get you out of that cattle and into something decent. All right, we'll buy it. A very good choice, sir. Oh, I get it. Do I get another choice? We're done. It won't let me do anything else. 
Come on, let's get you to the barber. Mark. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, Strauss. actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think right. you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? <laughs> sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, boy. Don't, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Yeah, 30 you know, years ago, 40, the past couple 40 of months, years ago. Armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. They keep making reference to that. That we're gonna we're leaving soon. I like it here. How are you holding up? My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Hick. Uh, okay, yeah, fair. That's this fair. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Transportation, huh? Aha! We're going by limo. Hope you have a successful evening. We're taking a limo. George! To the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you! From Toad? The prince. Uh, this is a bit much, ain't it? The yeah. coach? We can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a fresh oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't ham. <laughs> so, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, driver? Oh, yes, don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. <sighs> Don't worry, Arthur. We're the all in for for good win. fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <Indeed>. <laughs> Come on. 
And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Uh, Going on a riverboat? Any weapon be here. They'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from oh. you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. I don't like that. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Sure. Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Ha! <laughs> More well, like gentlemen. nervous as a cow with a buck tooth calf. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Do I do I go ahead? Well, that's Javier. Is that Javier? I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. Wow. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Uh -huh. Now have yeah, a good what time. Could possibly go wrong? But don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now, where can I get a cocktail? Sit at the poker table. Um, well, there's no seats. Oh, this one? Feel free to join a game, sir. We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Cut Arthur scene. Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. Um... So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, then. Okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Woo. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. Huh? I thought I had. <laughs> Goodbye, what? gentlemen. I thought that I was guess my it's hand. Just wait, wait. I misunderstood. Friend. I thought I had. Yes, it is. I thought I had the queen. to see if you're really the man I'm you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know. I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. I've got the queens. You sound just like my wife. Mr. Callahan? Raise. Roll that. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. <laughs> uh, okay. Here goes nothing. Interesting. A pair of cowgirls. Shit. Shit. I 
guess my luck hell. Is that you done? Done? Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. <laughs> An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play as you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Okay. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author well, of his own good fortune. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pear cake. Very good, but not good enough. What? Shit. What do you have? Aces? Ace? Oh, it's down. It's over here in this corner. I'm not even. Uh oh. Looking. Yes. Yeah. We got this beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. Diamond God flush. damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, uh, Desmond. Now, reading the cards. forgive my lack of discretion, but, um, where might I find this watch? Yeah, that's it's what upstairs. I've been worried about. Shall I've, we go I'm and sitting here worried about what's coming. You know, we gotta go Gentlemen, up here and rob a safe. Please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. And I don't have any guns. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank Is that you. Javier? Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. Okay, he has a gun. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. Is that Javier? I cannot believe yes. someone gave a greaser a job. Hey, now. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Oh, yeah, I, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. So we get his watch? Well, here we are. Oh, man. Stay cool, Javier. Stay cool. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Javier, don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Now I have a gun. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Shot him in the shoulder. Let's hope no one heard that. Wow. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Damn. I can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand Dang it. plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. Oh boy. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. Did I take his if gun? Do I have a gun? Do I have a gun? I I I You got a gun shot. It sounded like one. Dang. Come on. Dang, dang, dang. Dang. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. Uh, jump in the river, man. Get, get, don't go down there. Don't, don't just, just jump. Oh, oh we gotta get the others. Uh, Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uh, uniform, he's still being way. light and breezy. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. <laughs> anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd. We gotta get Trelawney, is that the deal? Why we didn't just well. jump in the river? To the bar, senor! Why don't we just, you know, okay, we gotta get Trelawney. Is that the deal? I hope you had fun, sir. 
You're the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Let's get Trelawney and Boogie. Oh, no. There's your friend. My friend is not a no good. Boogie on out. Trelawney. Take back the insinuation. Oh, Strauss too. Oh, don't be a sore loser, friends. Hope Something they have I guns. don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners oh, to keep on, my mouth. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There he is, shoot that oh, man. man. Come on, Roger. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Oh, yeah, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. A, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Man. Mad at myself. <sighs> what do we do now? Total take six thousand. Gang three. My share seven fifty. Okay. Um, uh, let's get out of the street. I need a break. Um, uh, 
for me there. Are you keeping? Senor? <laughs> ah. And as usual, my head is uh, clogged up. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, spinning. Not spinning, it's just I can't think. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I, uh, I don't feel up to doing Sadie. Um, it, it just, um, I mean, if I wasn't making a video, I mean, I, I would, I would definitely, um, um, you know, close out the game for a minute, you know? Well, because I'm just, you know, my head's not clear, you know, because I'm, I think mostly because I'm just upset with myself, you Who know. There? It's me. Wondered when you'd roll back in. Well, I just rolled back in. Um, yeah, I'm just there we go. upset with myself, um, not being able to um, do that better. Real good, boy. It's frustrating to me. Um, what time of day is it? Well, maybe there'll be some chow. If not, we gotta feed him and, uh... Ah, uh, man. Hello, Arthur. I just don't feel good about that performance favorite at all. Uncle. Oh good, there's oh, food. So I think what we'll do is uh, Sadie first on the next one. Um, I think I need to call it. How's it going? Miss 
Grimshaw? <laughs> Miss Grimshaw? Yes, what is it? Have you seen Karen? The O'Driscoll boy? No, I haven't. Firstly, he isn't an O'Driscoll, and secondly, <laughs> I'm worried. Well, I'm sure he'll turn up. His sort normally do. Okay. Thank you. So, Kieran's missing. At least she's worried about him. But, uh, something. How are you? What is that M with the dollar sign all about? A coast robbery. Micah. I'm not up to it, guys. Not right now. Um. Everything okay? I have yeah. a pipe to give well, don't him. Don't you look slick? Uh, Trelawney got me all tarted up for that riverboat job. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. All right, then. It's not gonna let me give him the pipe. Um. And my hand's a little shaky, and that's my my uh, my cue to take a nap. <laughs> Hi there, Arthur. Uh, so Sadie, I wanted to get to Sadie. Uh, like I say, I think uh, I need a nap. <laughs> Man. Ah. Well, we're keeping this, I think. Yeah, definitely. I can give him a few bucks, though. stock anything up over here. Uh, want the, I want I don't want to contribute, I want the ledger. Well yeah I need a nap, y'all. I'm sorry. I just don't uh, don't think it's a good idea for me to continue. sleep till morning and um, call it a video thank you so much for watching I do appreciate it I appreciate y'all and uh, we'll catch y'all on the next one take care